what is going on guys it's your boy sister here bring us in a video here today bring us a photoshop tutorial to create your own cool abstract symmetrical whatever the title says in the video here today banner design all right so you can see my example here today it's a really fun awesome concept it's almost very simple it might look difficult it's really not it's sort of like i guess enhancing a background or some sort right so basically this kind of video is pointing in the direction of like helping people out who i guess struggle with like backing designs or just struggle with like having a theme for the banner designs or just like really like abstract but have no clear direction where they feel like they want to go so today's video is basically like taking a cool little background making it symmetrical and then sort of like figuring out how to enhance it with color corrections and lighting effects something simple like that and with a really simple text in the middle it will look super clean it looks really awesome and i'm sure you guys exactly how to do that stuff today so as always guys turn likes on the video it goes a secret down below and i might just not for whatever reason i guess i might just do it um uh just like look in the description down below if it's already there if not like remind me or something like that but i want to put in a couple of pictures that i've seen personally that i've uh had i guess struggle with picking what my preview video is going to be for like this right here like more background space for you guys to use if you guys don't want to just use this one so as always guys let's go ahead and get this thing going and also this actually little fun little cross i've seen someone do it in the past i've seen a lot of people of course do it itself like do re i guess inspirations of it but i believe this i don't know if the style came from somewhere but i mean like from this particular person i think his name is like nor effects like n-e-o-r effects he's, he haven't done this in a very long time however but i've seen a lot of people doing it recently i saw it on my timeline i was like you know what i want to get a shot at it too so as always guys let's go and get this thing going and uh yeah let's get this just let's just get this thing going for the fourth time <laughs> All right, guys, so let's go to get this thing going. So pretty much the only thing you have to start off with is your abstract image. Now, that's, of course, you can use the one I'm using in today's video here today, which is both in the description down below with other sort of, I guess, cool little backgrounds that you can use as well. So this is not going to be the craziest long tutorial. It's not, the too, it's not too hard whatsoever. So let's go ahead and get this thing going. So pretty much what I'm going to do is figure out basically where I want to cut my halfway point on my actual little my little background here so basically if you didn't know how to use your rules before if you press ctrl r on your keyboard you can see that they come up just like so if you just click on the ruler itself and sort of guess where the middle is you can actually find yourself like a little snapping animation right there all you have to do is let that thing go and that is definitely where the middle of your background is going to be at so basically all that comes now is i'm going to rash this image here i'm going to take my rectangle marquee tool click and drag and just basically select halfway point and then press delete on your keyboard and just like so we have one half of it there so what i'm going to do now is i can either press ctrl j on your keyboard to make a duplicate of the image itself or press alt and shift and then just simply drag it right over it'll make a duplicate just like that as well ctrl t to uh, make it free transform and then flip it horizontal just like this and then i'm going to connect it just like that and there we go that's basically it not too hard whatsoever so i guess you can say this is a very nice really cool neat sort of i guess way of filling the actual banner together with also making like a really cool unity sort of symmetrical i guess theme to it itself right so i'm gonna do really quickly is we are going to put the word abstract in here oh god i don't know what happened there but let's just do that again abstract and we're gonna make it white here and then make this a little bit bigger just like so this might be a little bit too big for the text which is like that's pretty good and then we're gonna call this banner design tutorial lower this as well okay there we go so now we got our text there as well so basically at this very moment in time when you're just finding yourself okay where do i go next let's say you have a really cool image let's say you just like did exactly what i just did mirrored it you're like okay where do i go next so for me, what I would say is you can do two different things. What I like to do in my example was I found different shapes that I was like looking at. I was like, hey, this is a really cool shape here. It's very vivid. Let me make that shape pop out even more. So what I did was I, of course, pen tool that shape out, use a pattern overlay. And that's how I got the little circles in the, uh, I guess, in the, I guess, left and right hand side that are pretty like very, very big and very bold. I gave them a pattern overlay as well as sort of taking a third color for your color scheme whichever which one ever you have that's like really nice and complementive to the i guess original color scheme you had for me it would be the blue and green and then i guess the third color that i wanted to choose was orange and it felt really good so basically i would say to myself okay this circle here i'm going to put a little pattern overlay in there or maybe like this circle here you can put a pattern overlay in there or you can put like a different pattern different texture it's basically building upon what you have that's going to be like vivid or excuse me that's going to be uh in your vision to be able to be seen you'll, you'll, be, you'll be able to see it yourself you kind of like you just have to be in the right mindset of course right so i'm gonna show you guys what exactly what i mean so for me right now at this very moment uh i'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of a 
I guess a little pattern overlay on the inside of these circles. Before I do that, however, I'm gonna really quickly show you guys a really simple way to just put some lights in there, I guess you can say. So with a zero hardness soft brush, you wanna take a nice color, I guess you can say, let's just take this bluish here. Let's like click around the actual banner design a couple of times, just like so. And then with this, you just throw your uh, uh, your blend mode from normal to linear dodge. Add, lower your pass down a little bit, and then you're going to find yourself in a more flat sort of, I guess, all together rounded out image. It just feels right, it just looks right, and I would definitely recommend to do that before you even start off with your little circles or anything like that. As well as probably even adding a, uh, I guess maybe even a second tone of color, and then adding a brightness and contrast to fill it off. So I'm going to add something here, here. So once I added a blue, the second I'm going to add a little bit of a green or whatever color things you're working with. Linear dodge add, lower the opacity even more. Now, for whatever reason, if you find yourself in a, in a situation where I'm feeling right now, it's like this green is a little bit, I guess, not too great in what I'm looking for. Press control U on your keyboard while selecting on the actual layer itself. And then just move around the top hue bar. You can see the actual shift of color change. And you can kind of figure out where you kind of want maybe that's better than the original color that you selected. So for me, this would be like probably around here. And I feel like, okay, that's pretty good. So I'm going to add that brightness and contra uh, contrast like I said before. And the brightness and contrast that I use was negative 35 brightness. And then we use a 50 contrast. Right away you can see the just of course making your darks dark and your lights light. And that would pretty much include your I guess bringing out those uh, little, little bits of color that you use to uh, lighten up the actual banner design itself. So. Now I'm ready to actually start off with that first little, little I guess you can say a little animation or manipulation into the photo itself. So what I ended up doing was, on a new layer, I penciled out this circle. Now, I chose this circle, like I said before, because I felt like it was the most, I guess, the biggest circle there. And I just felt like I needed something, I needed something to happen within this circle. So I'm going to pencil this out. Just like that. And I'll maybe just connect it and see what happens here. As long as you get the circle, I guess, as closest to your pen tool to the shape that you wish to and also the shape that you want to pull out I guess you'd be okay like for me this is okay even though I didn't do all this over here there's not gonna be shapes that are gonna be completely perfect for you to just pencil out and that's just how it is so I'm gonna go and find myself doing something like that and I think that's pretty good I'm gonna fill this in so fill the path in with white it would not matter whatsoever so once I fill it in with white I'm gonna lower my fill opacity all the way down to maybe like I'll say 40% and what I'm going to do here is, I'll just actually lower all, all the way down. We're just going to lower all the way down that way. When we, If you guys don't know, lowering your fill all the way down to zero just basically is like the same exact thing of lowering your opacity. But if you lower your opacity, let's just imagine that that's the, I guess, the entire opacity of the actual banner design. But lowering your fill will get rid of whatever is on your picture itself. But then you can add some layer styles onto it and it'll be still at the same exact opacity as if it would be on a 100% opacity and 100% fill. So you guys understand that. So pretty lowering your fill is just going to get rid of the picture, not your layer style. So what's going to happen here is I'm going to throw on a layer style for inner shadow on this little circle here. You can see it right here, right? So you can see the inner shadow is still there. You can still see the entire opacity of it. You just want to make it like nice and I guess, I guess make it look nice and cool and deep. So for me, my inner shadow settings are at 90% opacity, zero distance, zero choke and 35 size. Very simple, right? Just like so. And what I'm going to do here is after I put my inner shadow on, I'm gonna throw on a pattern overlay. And just like so, I'm gonna throw on this, I guess this little circle one that I have. I buy, by the way, I do have my own pattern pack for $3 on my Selfie, selfie.com slash SysbyHQ. And pretty much if you don't wanna use mine, you can use a texture, you can find your own free ones, I'm sure if you just Google, uh, maybe like hatch pattern, pattern overlay or something like that, pack or something like that, you'll be able to find some. Of course you will be able to, but for me, I have my own that I purchased, or excuse me, that I have made for purchase. So if you guys wanna to choose to do so, you can do that and do that as well. But for me, opacity, blend mode, on overlay, and you put your opacity on 75%, and then just scale down what you feel like your pattern should be at. And for me, 101 is pretty good. Press okay. And then once you've done this, all you would have to do is just duplicate it right over with using alt drag or uh, control gen, the actual layer itself. Flip the actual image, horizontal and place it right where the other circle is and just like so now you have two different little things and it kind of looks really fun so for me if I wanted to add more here I could with maybe a different layer style maybe add this call a little shape here pencil that out but for me I was like this is okay this works out and I'm gonna also pull this little pattern overlay little circles out a little bit more so the way I did that was I'm gonna do layer we're gonna go ahead and take in a little I guess a little blue color from the actual uh, banner itself Click a couple times around where these circles are and just throw on a linear dodge add, just like so. 
and then just bring out the little circles a little bit more so i think that looks pretty good let's erase that up there a little bit right so just bring out the circles by just putting the light there right very simple you can see it all kind of like meshes really well together and gets like like really, like really nice flow going in the actual banner design so for me i think that looks pretty dang good what i'm going to do now is probably add in the little color corrections that i used before so i added a color balance and my color balance settings for this one was 10 to 5 just going top to down and basically what that just did was just giving it like a nice little bluish hue tint you can see it and it's not that harsh or whatever because it's not very it's not going in crazy opposite direction because i like the color scheme overall i just wanted to tune it down or excuse me tone up a little blue just a little bit more as you can see when i click it on and off so now what i'm going to do is before i add my next price and brightness and contrast i'm going to go ahead and add another like color in here let's just add this really harsh blue it might not look great at first but we'll make it look even better so just keep on adding lights and if you keep on adding lights just make sure you add a brightness and contrast somewhere in there that way you can pull those lights out even more so i'm gonna put on linear dodge out with this nice little blue and i can say to myself okay not that great control u and then change the hue on the top um i kind of like that okay we're gonna just lower the passage down a little bit more now yeah i do like that sweet so now what i'm gonna do is add that brightness and contrast like i said and we're just gonna pretty much just go let's go like maybe positive on the brightness here and then like 16 on the contrast or 20 we'll say 16 20 that's fine perfectly fine so it just brings out a little bit more just looks really good so far we're we're pretty much at that moment where you're just like okay what else can i add so for me i'm gonna go ahead and say let's go ahead and add those little uh i guess other shapes that you can add in here so let's just make a new layer and I, when I, of course, originally saw this, I saw the shape right here. So I clicked right there, and I saw this shape right here. So I'm going to click, move my little anchor point here, extend a little anchor point. Like right there. Okay. Go around the banner here, come in from right here, and then connect it just like right there. That looks good all right sweet so i'm gonna go ahead and just put fill path fill it in with white delete the path and i'm also going to find myself i mean i don't know why that looks like that here i might just erase that if it looks like that right there okay and then put another shape like right here i believe it was like around here right here let's just do this shape here okay connect this here and then fill this in with white as well on the same layer it doesn't really matter whatsoever so there we go now i got two little shapes here so for me what i'm going to do is lower this fill down to 40 percent double click on this fill here excuse me on double click on the layer itself to bring up the layer style and then throw on a color overlay immediately so the reason why i lower my fill down to 40 percent is because the entire sort of banner design is very harsh in color it's a very it's like a color you need like a very nice neutral down color so if you lower your opacity down or I mean, the fill down to 40 percent your opacity won't be super i guess vivid and it won't like distract from the actual banner design so lowering that opacity down will allow that see-through and that really nice dullish kind of tone to come out that way when you actually do select the color just like so over here it won't look very harsh and just very it won't look just like a regular weird block just there right so i'm gonna go ahead and just see where my colors lie and which one i want to use uh, that's a pretty nice color there the green is really nice as well but i think i'm just gonna go with this nice little orange again like pretty much almost orange like something like right there looks pretty good so once you find your color i would add in a inner glow as well uh just basically a nice little white inner glow with a nice opacity let's just put it on like uh 30 opacity is pretty good and i'll put it on size 15 just to like put make it nice in just five intervals right so once you have this press ok and then what I'm going to do is simply just drag it over again with Alt Shift, Control T to free transform it. And you simply just put it on the opposite side. Now it's very nice and cool symmetrical. Whole little theme, of course, right? So once I have these little blocks here, I'm going to take this yellow that I actually have now. That's pretty much new. Click around where it's actually also yellow. All right, just a nice little yellow brush. Just like so. And then just add in a linear dodge. Add again and then lower the opacity down just like so again so it's pretty much a lot of flood of random lights going around so once you have this i'm gonna add in other brightness and contrast let's go negative and positive for the brightness and contrast let's just say negative 10 and then positive 10 contrast 
we're gonna add in a vibrance now as well so the color right now is very just sort of it's still there but what i'm gonna do is even enhance it even more and i found this was just it looks really good if i just lower excuse me put my vibrance up just like so to like 55 let's say you can just see it on and off really quick it just brings out the color even more it just it just fits the actual style itself with this really awesome fun little background and if you want to you can click on the thumbnail itself and use a black brush in order to erase and then just erase around what you don't think it needs to be so vibrant like right in just different couple spots add a little bit of tone i guess or depth of tone i guess you can say with the color and for me that looks pretty dang good and i'm gonna add in the levels i did it before and maybe you can do that as well. I would definitely use levels as a very, very small tweaks. I'm just gonna move my my middle ones maybe like point, point like five in either direction or whatever one kind of fits. Do not go crazy with it though. You can really ruin it. So if you don't know how to use levels, I would try much just go get rid of it. Don't even use it. However, if you do, just want to kind of tone it up a little bit. You can see just a little bit of tone, right? Looks pretty dang good to me. I'm also gonna change this abstract color to this yellow that we have using right here, just like so okay and then i pretty much say last but not least maybe one more light of just random color just selecting i'm holding alt by the way and just like hovering over the color to kind of find that nice little color put a color right on top of there maybe like right here maybe like right no i don't need one there maybe like right there and then linear dodge add of course again lower the opacity down a bit maybe tone the color a different tone uh I think that looks pretty good so pretty much the little final part that i'm going to be doing in this video shout out to aaron if you guys don't know filter go to filter gallery under artistic click on paint dwabs dwabs i think it is and then brush size one sharpness one press ok make it look nice and cool i'll race around with the text a little bit maybe but other than that i'm thinking that we are pretty much done with the actual banner design so hope you guys understood like the whole entire concept of this was get a really cool background make it mirrored symmetrical i would say work on one side you can really just work on one side yourself and then just duplicate it all over afterwards you can add some brush stocks if you want let me just see what happens if i add some brush stocks in here but it's a very fun honest concept and i think if you sort of flirt with it a little bit more I'm, I'm guaranteeing you that you can find a really awesome flow to it and kind of get what you're looking for maybe and when it comes to making really cool style something like that or just sort of helping you out in the transition of i guess helping your backings out or something like that right so Hope you guys did enjoy the video here today as I like sort of mess around with a little more, more lights, I guess you can say, over here. Um, but I really hope you enjoyed the video. It's very fun just like to sort of try it out yourself, of course, and then you can just, I guess, see where it goes from there. But even just overall, the actual design is pretty much made as soon as you find that really cool background and that really cool just sort of color that you want to choose to or use, like color balance wise and also the color scheme that you choose to use. So hopefully you guys do enjoy one more time. And of course, don't forget to follow me on Twitter at SisoHQ. Do not forget to, I guess, subscribe if you haven't already. Comment down anything you want to see me do below. And uh, yeah, let's just tweet me your ideas or tweet me whatever the heck you guys got going on here. So don't forget to try out maybe like adding some weird boxes or just adding something. Just add something. But this is a really cool, I guess, start to the actual thing that you probably want to use. I'm just going to add a box. So what I mean, like literally, I'm just going to make a quick little box with like a, the darkest color that I have on my banner design, which would probably be like, like this, right? Boom. Maybe like this color here, right? If I just add this little box here, maybe you wanna mess around with like using a different stroke for it, I guess with the, oh, I guess a secondary color from it. I don't know, there's a lot that I wish I can show you wise, but it should be like the fun part of the exploring the actual concept itself, right? This would be part of the fun. Like just start doing something like this, right? Or I don't know, like it really, it's it's really gonna, it's, I don't wanna do anything. I want you guys to figure it out, okay? I'm gonna dip out now. Hope you guys did enjoy the video here today. And don't forget to, I guess, download the little stuff that I put in the description down below as well, right? Sisu so HQ out. Peace. Don't forget to keep smiling, stay positive, and stay freaking productive, guys. I'll talk to you guys later. Later. Peace. Later. See you later.